Okay, just was waiting on the recorder to click into place there. Right, good evening everybody. Uh, first of all, I'm going to just click off and disable the chat for now. We'll uh, enable it later if it allows me. Locked. Right, start again. Good evening everybody. First of all, I'd like to say Happy New Year to you all. Uh, I hope that 2016 brings you health, wealth, happiness, but most of all, prosperity and especially success in your clean, easy business. I don't like to be one-sided. So, what would you like to achieve in 2016? Now, I know that many of you will have these goals in place, but we're, we're bringing in new people into the business all the time, and this training is going to help you guide them and help them to develop their goals um, and find out what they're looking for from the business. Um, what Jim Rowan says there, and I'm going to be using a lot of Jim Rowan's uh, material tonight. He's my favourite mentor. And if you haven't heard of Jim Rowan, please write that down. It's Jim Rowan, spelled R O. H N and the book that I'm going to be using uh, to take my material from tonight is called the seven strategies for wealth and happiness and the goal setting coincidentally is strategy uno numero can't see my finger number one so what what Jim's saying here is don't be a follower be a student so dreams and goals, I'm going to be covering that tonight in quite a lot of details why I wanted you to bring pen and paper to the table. I'm going to be touching on personal development and touching on planning, but only touching on them. But the reason they're there is because the three of them go together. It, the goal setting, as you see tonight, is part of the planning and it's also part of your personal development. So... Now, this word's going to be difficult to say because I've been trying it with a stuffed nose and a, a funny throat and they know the way you talk when you've got a flu or a cold. Well, it's probably a cold, but I've been saying it's a flu. Failure is not a catalytic, <laughs> didn't say it right, event. I'm not going to embarrass myself by repeating it. Basically, what that means is it's not the result of one major incident, but it's an accumulation. We don't fail overnight. Failure is the ne inevitable result uh, of an accumulation of poor thinking or poor choices. It might just be not working today and doing a bit tomorrow, doing a bit here, doing a bit there. But it's just an accumulation of uh, poor choices. My favourite saying, and if you've been in the business a while, you'll know that. This is Jim Rohn saying, to put it simply, failure is nothing more than a few errors of judgement repeated every day. Accumulated over a period of time. Of course, success in that case is a few simple disciplines practiced daily, accumulated over a period of time. And I'll take this opportunity because I know there'll be some people tuning in tonight who may be brand new in the business, uh, most definitely likely to be part time because 90% uh, of the people do clean easy on a part time basis that. It is a few simple disciplines. We're not talking about 40, 50 hour weeks here. We're talking about a few simple disciplines practiced daily, accumulated over a period of time. And the first discipline is your goal setting, <laughs> dreams and goals. Magic word, discipline. It's there again. Discipline basically is the bridge between your thought and the accomplishment. So the thought might be, I want a new car, or I want a thousand pounds a month, or I'd like to be to gold distributor within a month, or whatever. That's the thought. The discipline is the bridge that will achieve and take you to that thought. All good things are upstream, as Jim Rohn says, and this training tonight is going to show you just how important your goal setting is and the discipline, not only in doing the goal setting but following through with the action as well. The sooner you can exert the, the discipline, the sooner you can create the kind of life that you've always dreamed of, living but never thought was possible. And you can achieve the kind of life you've dreamed of through this business without a shadow of a doubt. 
And, you know, there's a lot of success stories out there, but tonight it's about the trainings. So make sure you share the success, not only with your new team members, but look at all the success in the business and see what you would like to aspire to. If you have a strong enough reason for doing it, it doesn't matter if it's large or small, it can have an incredible influence on the direction of your life or your business. It's, it's basically, it's your why, they call it your why. <laughs> and so tonight, we're going to start designing the next 10 years of your life. Now, you might be thinking, Lynn's just went for 2016 to 2026. So I'd like you to just think, well, how quickly does five years go? I want you to think, just go back five years. You might want to use a child that you know, maybe your own child, it may be a grandchild, a granddaughter, son, daughter, niece, nephew, a friend's child, a baby, and just think, go back five years. How often do we see that new child? Oh my goodness, are they four already? Five years goes like that and 10 years goes like that so we want to start to have these long-term goals in place and we're going to start setting your goals or should I say you're going to start setting your goals goal setting and Jim Rowan says is one of the most important skills to develop if you want to design your future the better you are at goal setting as long as you put the discipline and the activity in, the more likely you'll have the future that you could only dream of or you have dreamed about it, but you've turned it into reality and a goal. So I'm going to start with long-term goals, which might sound a bit strange. Uh, but sorry, I keep having to look at the time because my computer clock's not working. Um, now, this is why I asked you to get pen and paper. I want you to write down these questions. Now, I don't want you to answer these questions. What I'd like you to do is at the end of this training, now, preferably at the end of the training, while it's fresh in your mind and while the training's fresh in your mind, and I also will post it uh, on YouTube and on the Rhino group as uh, soon as possible. Uh, usually can do it quite quickly. It takes uh, a couple hours to buffer. But we'll get this posted as well so you can refer back to it. But what do I want to achieve within the next one to ten years? Now, I don't want this to be detailed. I want you to write fast and furious. I want you to write at least 50 things that you would like to do. Spend 12 to 15 minutes doing this exercise. And I'm going to give you some basic questions to help you get started. So, what would you like to do in the next one to ten years? It's bound to be loads, I know. <laughs> I've got hundreds when I revisited the Jim Rowan Seven Strategies for Wealth and Happiness. The, the list was just coming thick and furious. What would you like to do? What would you like to see? What would you like to be? What would you like to have? Where do you want to go? And what would you like to share? Let your thoughts pour fast, abbreviate, and just uh, abbreviate, and just make the list as long as you can. Just get that list down, and that's a 12 to 15 minutes you want to spend doing that at the end. Please don't do it now. <laughs> now we want to go back through your list. I did tell you some, some homework to do. Next to the things that you think you can achieve in one year, right, one year, Next to the things you think you can achieve in three years, write three years. Next to the things you think you can achieve in five years, write five. And next to the things you think you can achieve in ten years, write a ten. Now, I will admit, for some of you, especially if you're brand new in the business, this might be quite difficult and they, they will definitely change. The, the dates will change and so somewhat may the goals may change as well. But part of this exercise, you putting the dates on it, a year, three years, five years, ten years, it's all going towards solidifying it and making it become a reality in your mind. It's taking the exercise to say, right, this is a year's goal, this is a three-year goal, this is a five-year, this is a ten-year. We will go back. You're going to see that. We're going to go back. This is just one 
little step. One little step. Now, just what I will say, you might be thinking, well, um, one stage at a time, one goal at a time. Really, it's important to have multiple goals. While you're working on one goal, you must have something else in the planning stages. That's the way that Jim Rohn says it. And Jim Rohn and many other um, motivational speakers and writers like our mentors, like Jim Rohn, John Kilench, who also does a lot of books that I've loved in the business, and that's spelled K A L E N C H. John Kilench uh, also uses the example of the Austrinet, uh, the Austrinets, the Austrinets. I was going to say, I was thinking about Australia for some reason, the astronauts, get it right, Lynn, going to the moon. Because what happened when the first astronauts went to the moon? On the return, some of them or all of them suffered from extreme emotional problems and disability and emotional and psychological problems. And the reason being, they'd been to the moon. <laughs> Where else can you go? That was their ultimate goal, was to go to the moon, and they had no other goals in place. And they've actually corrected that now. For the future, that they make sure anybody in that situation has major goals outside that major goal of going to the moon. They've got other goals outside it. So what Jim Rowan says, as soon as you wrap up one goal, start on the next one. Uh, and I love his wee saying sometimes, you may relate to it, you may not, because he's quite Americanized. he's a wee bit old-fashioned, but he says, don't linger too long at the table of success. The only way to enjoy another meal is to get hungry. And a great example is that we've just got the qualifiers for India. I'm very proud and pleased to have qualified, but I'm mainly proud of my new team members because that's the way I qualified, was on new business sales. So thanks to all you new team members. Guys, you've done a fantastic job. And my goal is to make sure you're all on the next trip, as well as everybody who's sharing these trainings with us. That's that's one of my goals, since we're talking about goals, for us all to be on that trip. But imagine that you were aiming to go to India um, and you didn't have a goal outside that. What happens is your business will go static. You'll get like, oh, and you're not aiming. You tend to go on a bit of a plateau. Now, businesses sometimes, you know, can plateau because, you know, turnover goes up. It can go down, up, down, up, down eventually rising as it goes but a plateau in business without goals will eventually go down so you must have these um, multiple goals and that's why we're doing the exercise at 50 <laughs> um, but we're not going to you know we're going to work on these and you're going to sh I'm going to show you and I have to be really excused for scratching my nose but it's either that or going into a spout of sneezing uh, I'm actually impressed there's been no sneezing yet now your list should include, and I want you to write these down, material things, tangible things, boats. I, I don't know why people put boats first. For me it's houses, maybe holidays actually. <laughs> holidays, houses, cars, furniture, you know, jewellery, boats. Uh, I personally don't want a boat, but I know, well, Bob Webb, <laughs> I know loads of people who would love a boat. But you want your list should include, include these material things. It should include economic things, your income, how much do you want to earn by what time, your profits, you know, be, you know, with this business that is quite high in the profits towards, you know, there's not a lot of expenses, and your productivity, because in order to achieve these goals, you need to know and have the goals set for the productivity, and the goals for personal development. Uh, what I will say is I'll just go back slightly to when I was saying to put, you know, a year, three years, five years, ten years, and we're at this, you know, profits and productivity part. It just refreshed my memory just to remind you that by putting these dates on it and by putting them down, it, you're, you're, you mentally grow, you're personally developing, and, you know, with the help of the person that introduced you and plugging into these meetings and trainings that are available, you soon know what you have to do to achieve these goals, but always keep in contact with your sponsor, the person that introduced you, um, and their sponsor, because the person that introduced you may be new, and share your goals. 
uh, with them because they can help you to achieve them just by giving you that guidance and direction and the benefit of their experience in the clean easy business. But the, you, this is where some people let themselves down. Uh, they have goals, but they don't have goals for personal development. Write down your personal development goals. Yeah, get fit, lose weight. People quite often have these ones. To be a great leader, to be a better leader, to be a better communicator. Everybody says, I'd love to find that one fantastic developed person in my business. I'd, want, I'd love to find that leader. Become that leader and you will find other great leaders and develop them. Your list um, should also other goals to consider and possibly the top goal there um, I feel, and it is just my opinion, is the, the biggest driver uh, for most people that I've met in the business, it's the family goals. I know mine's is the girls, um, my son, my daughter and my girls, my grandchildren, uh, and I have loads of goals for them to see the world. Social goals. Uh, are you a social butterfly? Social goals doesn't necessarily mean getting on the clean easy conferences and going to Birmingham and socialising at the meetings and the trainings in your clean easy business. Social goals could mean the cinema, going out, out to dinner, uh, going to theatre, having a life that you enjoy. Uh, then that leads me on to lifestyle goals. Do you want to work for a boss? for 45 years to make him rich or do you want to work for yourself just a few hours a day not even a few hours a day a few simple disciplines towards your lifestyle goals so you really want the full picture so family goals social goals and lifestyle don't be scared to dream dreams turn into goals discipline and action turn them into reality so that's what we're going to have to do that's our training exercise and we're not finished yet. <sighs> it's exhausting. There's a lot of homework to be done. But as Jim Rowan says, and I mean the flu is exhausting, I must point that out to you. Um, Jim Rowan says that, you know, the people who do the homework, it shows up in the marketplace, not just in the classroom. So basically it shows up in your business. It shows up in your figures. It shows up in your turn in, turnover, not just in the classroom. So if you do this homework, it will show up in your marketplace and your results. So go back to your list. And now what I want you to do is pick out the four most important from the one-year goals, the three-year goals, the five-year goals, and the 10-year goals. Now these 16 goals be, en be enough to keep you going for now. Because that's your long-term ones. It's done the started on the short-term ones. So, now what I want you to do, now that you've got that 12, go back to your list of goals, and in a brief paragraph, you want to describe each goal. How high? How long? What size? What colour? How many bedrooms? What type of car? Is it a convertible? What, what kind of holiday? What kind of jewellery? What do you want to do with the family? Where is it you want to take them? But most importantly, why it's important to you. Now, out of everything there, the why is the really important part. And I'll chat about that in a little minute. But this is a process when you either talk yourself into it or talk yourself out of it, strangely enough. It's good. This is good. Because if you're unclear as to why something's important to you, Usually you only put in a half-hearted effort into it. So this is you breaking them down and re re and you know, because it's easy to write down 50 goals, but we're talking about achieving them. So when you start to put these into paragraphs to describe each goal, what colour is that car going to be? Where is the holiday going to be? Why is it important to you? How is that going to make you feel? That is when you turn the why you turn the why into how it makes you feel. The reason why what you want is a powerful motivator, the reason why you want it is an even more powerful motivator. And if you have a wee think about that, write that down, put a circle in it and underline it. And have a wee think about that after uh, you come offline tonight. 
just think about whatever's on your goal list. Pick a few of them and just think why. Just do it with one even. Why? The why has a greater pull. What may happen here is that some goals you thought that were important at first glance may become less important or vice versa because this is where you're finding out what you really want over the next one to ten years. Now at this stage, Jim Rowan <laughs> loves to talk about a journal. I just talk about hard back notebook. Anybody that knows me believes in the hard back notebook. Now it's no coincidence that Jim's actually in this training. He's actually said to write it down on paper and then transfer the goal and the description into a journal or a hardback book that you can refer to often. Now, the very practice of writing it over again, so you take it for the paper and then you put it in your journal, helps again to solidify that goal in here. The more you see it, the more you believe it, the more you can achieve it. So it's just that exercise you get in the mind. that It's, it's a mind thing as well. It's very clever, to be honest. This is why we use... Jim Rhodes trainings, because he's very clever. It's important to set time aside every week to review, structure, add, to, delete, or even tear up the whole list. There's a lot of whole lists being torn up at the moment and start again. Now, the reason for that is a positive thing. I think it was Lisa had said in her email, Lisa Burke had said in her email, um, and this is, for the new people, this is because the business in the last 12 months has introduced an online side to it. We've now got more avenues. We've got more people joining. There's just more and more an opportunity here. But because, mainly because of the online side of it, businesses are growing faster. And it used to be that people made a goal to get to gold distributor. Now that, for the new people, is having 10 people in your team and a turnover of 9,000 with an income of over £1,000 a month. Now, the goal for that used to be 12 months average, give or take. She said, now people are setting the goal for that in a month and achieving it. So speak to the person who introduced you when, you're, you know, when you've got that list so they can help you to put times and dates on it because the business really can go as fast as you like. As Craig Skelleran says, it's time to sprint. <laughs> uh, but it's important to set time aside. It's a weekly exercise. Goal setting is not something you do once. It's a continual process. And if you speak to people like uh, Craig Skelleran, to mention one, Abigail Coakley, who a lot of you know her name, she took her check from just over a 1,000 up to 5,000, mainly online. And she's huge on the goal setting. She does her book. She does it methodically. That's why Jim Rowan says, if you can master goal setting, you can master your de destiny. And constantly check on your process, pr progress because there's no point in putting a goal in place and aiming towards it if you don't push for it. There's no point in putting a date if you don't push the whole idea of putting these dates is to it's like a magnet to draw you towards that so if you don't check your progress and make sure you're even if you're off track don't worry sometimes success is just around the corner and you'll hear a lot of stories of people saying oh my god i didn't think i was going to make it and i took a dip this month and then the next month this happened always steadfast stick to your goals but amend and adjust it if necessary and that is if that goal is important to you and remember it's your goal and you're the one who says whether it's important to you short-term goals are just as important as the long-term goals obviously but you see we start with the online goals with the, with, with the 10 year goals and the five year the three year and the one year and then we have to put the tiny wee steps if you imagine it to be like um here is the person and here is the river it's hundreds of miles apart and he wants to get across the river. Wrong way around, that's the person. Camera confuses you. You need lots of little stepping stones and that's your short-term goals. What are your goals for tomorrow? What are your goals for next week? What are your goals for next month? The next six months? Go back to your journal. They're in a journal now. And write down all the little things that you would like to achieve in the next year. 
Now here's an important part, and you'll notice that we do this in the clean easy business. Yeah, well done in achieving that, or getting to this percentage earning this income. Tick them off and celebrate the achievement. Jim Rohn calls these small goals your confidence builders. It gives you self-belief. It, it shows you that you can gradually take it a step at a time at your own pace, whether you want to sprint, jog, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend strolling to the goal. Don't stroll to the goal. It's actually another one of Jim's saying. But Jim Rowan says there's two main ways that we learn in life. The joy you win in and the pain you lose in. So make it a pain to lose. Make it a pain not to hit that goal. Celebrate when you hit that goal. When you buy that first major thing, whether it's a dining room table and chairs, car, house, whatever, celebrate that achievement. Enjoy the winning. Enjoy the joy of winning. So I'm almost finished now. Uh, because the goals and the personal development is the most important part of your business, believe it or not. You need to take the time out to work on these and work on them the way that I've recommended tonight so you really, really know what it is that you want to achieve. And also the person who's helping you to achieve these goals has got a clear definition of what it is that you want. But just a wee bit on the personal development, the next trainings will be on personal development and planning. Uh, but that's the next fortnight. I'll explain that in a wee minute. Right, we've got an induction one coming in. We're going to pop in extra induction trainings. So, But for the next training, two weeks from now, so that's 14 days from now, which will be the 20th of January, I think. <laughs> Date's not working either. In two weeks' time, we will cover your pers uh, sorry, personal development more and the planning of it. But in between, we're going to have an induction training, which I'll explain in a little minute. But just a few wee quotes to get you thinking before I end the training. Performance, and we're talking about business. Um, well, not business, actually. <laughs> that was the wrong thing to say. Performance comes from the inside and not the outside. Success is not something you pursue. Success is something you develop. You can, you can have more than you have got because you can become more than you are. If you want to have more than what you've got, then you have to become more than what you are. And that's done simply through the goals and the personal development, but mainly personal development, which we will cover next time. Now for the benefit of the recording, if you don't hang up just now, if you don't go away, I'm just going to end the recording and then come back and let you know when the next meeting dates are um, and uh, just put some